So without further ado, we are going to launch in. We're going to try to address four broad themes in the development of the front office and technology uh, over the course of the next few years. Um, the role of automation, the pace and management of innovation, um, the role of governance in a fast-moving front office, um, and finally, we're going to give you our vision uh, for the future of the front office as it's changed by technology. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to the panelists and Matthew first to ask, we see more and more processes being automated in the front office, and certainly we read about it endlessly in the media. Uh, what sorts of processes actually are in practice being automated? Um, and what are the challenges and risks that come with this process of automation? Um, thanks very much. Uh, just as a, a brief start to this, automation in banks on trading floors is hard. Let's just start that up front. A lot of people, and if you read the media and the press, you think artificial intelligence, machine learning, suddenly the machines are going to take over. There's endless articles written on this subject. It is incredibly a hard problem to deal with client flows on a trading floor and a market making business and to do automation. The, the, the data is complex. There is a huge diversity of the flows that you see and many different situations. Now, the good news is we can do some automation, and we started to see parts of that. In its simplistic form, an execution algo was a form of automation dating back maybe 10, 15 years. Uh, but we are now starting to see a broader automation where small, low-value activities are starting to be picked up by the machines using some of these techniques. It is a complement to what we see in trading and sales. It does not displace trading and sales very contrary to what the media says. It is a very expensive thing to do, requiring a vast amount of data to be assembled that has all that storage and computational uh, costs that come with it, and therefore the marginal return you're making out of the automation is very low. But it is the start of a process that will lead us eventually to the front office of the future, which isn't the displacement of humans, it is the augmentation of humans by the use of some of these technologies and platforms. Thank you very much, Matthew. 